Hi, and welcome to Good News Friday. Mike Simon is here. I'm Joey Yarber. Happy Friday, everybody. It's a good Friday. Always looking for great news. And you know, Mike, there is a ton of it out there. There are still people with their hearts that want to work together in collaboration within the community. And we have found one. Uh, Chad Daniels, our friend up there in El Dorado Springs, Missouri. A big thank you to Chad. Uh, his vision for working together in the community, bringing in churches, bringing in other agencies. And we've got a launch of a new charity tracker network there in El Dorado Springs, Missouri. A big salute to you guys for your vision there of working together as a community. It's exciting. It's always exciting to us here when we hear about this coming together. Because let's face it, working together, easier said than done. But someone like Chad, he has that vision. We had this first conversation back in October. We were talking about the potential there and the possibilities and how that they could indeed work together, get everyone on the same page at the same time. Sure enough, Chad calls back. He's like, hey, man, I'm ready to go with this. Let's pull the trigger on this. Let's start working together. Uh, he's very enthusiastic about it. And here's the great thing, Mike. We're going to see promise and great results there from El Dorado because we know what will happen when they all start doing that. We found that out first thing here in Florence, Alabama, when everyone started getting on the same page at the same time and sharing their information. And, you know, Florence is no different. El Dorado Springs is no different than any community in the United States. Working together, that's what it's all about. You know, I, I think when you, when you think about a community as a whole, working together and you you've got people that are they'll stand up before you and say we ain't never done that before and, yeah. and that, that's true we've never never done that before mm -hmm. but you still can do it if you want to and they go but no I, I don't I don't think so and and that's that's where our stakeholders in our communities uh, error and they they believe what well, we and we don't need to do uh all this working together, sharing information. We don't need to do that because we don't have a problem here in our community. You don't? <laughs> <laughs> Make that case. Tell, tell me how that works. Yes. Uh. And and I, I'm, I'm seeing where community stakeholders are are starting to, to catch vision. And, and even if they just catch a vision for that it is possible for your your community care to work together, so agencies can get together, and the first thing you want to do to improve your your social service, social human services network, and all that, is to uh, invite others to work together with you. That that is so simple. That's where it's overcomplicated, because many people say getting these other agencies to work together. We got policies, we got procedures, we got oh, this, we got that. We got to get all this work together. No, you don't. No, you don't. You don't have to get any of that together. You can still remain uh, independent and, and and still share information that is a benefit to you and to the other agencies. And it doesn't have to be so complicated. But it does take a, a person like this gentleman that you just mentioned to say, we can do this. I remember when George McLean back in back in the in the fifties, he was a Presbyterian minister. He owned the newspaper in Tupelo, Mississippi. And he said, the greatest the greatest development we can do here is to strengthen human development. Make sure everybody else has human development in mind and, and build up that capacity for that. And he went into the to the business owners of the, of the city and he said, now, let me ask you a question, he said. Uh, if the people out here in, in the community fail to come into your store, over a period of time, what will that do to your business? Well, the guy said, well, we'll start losing money. We'll start losing business. He said, well, think about it. So you need to go out there and somehow increase their capacity to do better. And the only way you can do that is through collaboration. And, and, the, and the business owner starts scratching their head and go, well, you, know, you, may, may, you may have something there. So you're telling me if we all work together, business, consumers, we all work together to strengthen our whole community. Uh, we'll we'll fare better in the future, and and so and that's the with Tupelo being the greatest economic recovery story in American history, it happened, and and that's all that George McLean did. 
He says, it's unlimited to what a community can do if it is willing to work together. And it sounds it sounds simple, and it can be simple, but we tend to overcomplicate it. I don't know why we, we do that, but we do. <laughs> I don't either, Mike, and we shouldn't, right? I mean, come on. Let's let's do what it is that we say we want to do. What we need to do is work together. Okay, let's actually put it into practical use. Let's put everyone on the same page at the same time. Let's get into a platform that's safe and secure, that's not going to compromise the integrity, the, yeah. the personal information of someone. But really, what you're doing is you're strengthening your agency. You're actually strengthening the person that you're working with. The request referrals feature creates the ability to actually work hand in hand with other agencies. Now it's not just you. Now it's others working with you, with this individual that may need a lot of help. It's comprehensive uh, help that they're really looking for. The referral aspect, being able to pull up agencies that are in the community, what kind of services that they can offer, hand this off to them to work with as well. You can see whether or not the need has been met, keeping track all the way. This is what working together really looks like. It, it's actually measurable. And in that regard is where ultimately we get someone out of that place of crisis. They're not in the line anymore because all the needs were met. They got the kind of training, the kind of education that they needed. Now they've got a great job. There's all kinds of different stories and testimonials, Mike, of what we get from these agencies to just talk about, hey, now we're all working together as a community. Now we're solving community challenges, not just the individual, but now collectively we're all coming together. We're putting together processes. Yeah, it really is exciting to hear some of the great testimonials that we have, uh, whether it's food insecurity, whether it's healthcare challenges. If you If you want to work together, you got to be able to be on the same page at the same time. Charity Tracker is the platform that can accomplish that. And, you know, uh, guys like Chad, who's just looking to transform his community, he found it. And he's excited because he knows what he's about to do. And this reference came from James Whitford. Uh, James was talking to Chad about what he was doing in Joplin, right? One of the great success stories of Charity Tracker and how that that community is working together, utilizing Charity Tracker and the true charity uh, initiative that James has there in place. This is what we call success from a community type perspective. So James is talking to Chad there in El Dorado Springs about what he's doing. And Chad wants some of that. Hey, we got to do that right here too, right? <laughs> so this is how it's working, you Mike. Take our word for it. You know, we're, we're you know, even though we're selling the system, yes, but you don't have to take our word for it. You can go out there and talk to thousands of networks that are out there that have, they're doing this, and they're 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 moving the needle on poverty and hunger in their communities, and they're doing it because they're learning how to resource development they, they're getting better at that because yeah. they know that by sharing information you can reduce duplication of effort and you can allocate those resources where they're most needed and you you, you can't do that on your own you got to have help doing it admit it you know <laughs> you got to have right. help and if you've got a lofty vision to really want to help a person move them from crisis to self sustainability all the way up to abundant living. You no. can't do it on your own. You got to have help and you got to get your other agencies. And there are others in your community, hundreds, thousands of them, that they're all trying to do the same thing and they have overlapping interests. Why not work together with them and, and, and advance a more comprehensive approach to improving people's lives? You owe it to yourself. Do it. <laughs> Mike, it, it really is. And here's the great thing. You know, we, we have a lot of people with that vision, right? Hey, let us help you with this. And, and the question is sometimes I get, Mike, is from a cost perspective. Well, this we don't have a lot of money. We, we're, we're, you know, budgets or it's really strapped right now and it's difficult and this kind of thing. What about $20 per month? How about that? Because with that, an agency can have a charity tracker subscription. 
Now that's the basic level of service, but there's no startup fees. There's no, you know, Al, we're going to, you know, charge you this for, you know, whatever. No, $20 per month per user. And that's how your agency could be part of a network starting out. And that really is it. We have other levels of service that get into more comprehensive features, outcomes, and being able to work from that request referrals aspect. Uh, but then, of course, our, our other features there that are on our pro level. Uh, but hey, starting together, getting together, putting everyone on the same page at the same time, that can be as easy and as affordable as $20 per month. Kid you not. A lot of people are like, well, we got to get millions of dollars. We got to get the federal government to come in here and help us. Well, good luck with all that. Uh, oh, here I had the mayor of one of the cities that we shared the Cherry Tracker Network say, well, we've got to get, we've got to start a new a new committee or a new nonprofit. We've no, got to no, get, no. Nope. get money from so-and-so. And, no. and I remember the, the, the network administrator that was visiting that city. She looked at him. He says, no, you don't. <laughs> All you got to no. do is just be willing to work together. And you don't need nothing else but get one or two agencies to start working together and grow your network. That's all you need. It's as simple as that. We overcomplicate it, but it can it, be just as simple as that. It, it really is, Mike. It starts with you. It starts with you. And even though, you know, a lot of people are like, well, I don't know a whole lot about technology. You know what? You can create the vision. You can bring these others in. You can get people on your staff that do know how to enter information into the system or whatever and train them. We'll work with them in this. But it does. It starts with you. If you're watching this right now and you would like to know about some of these stories and these testimonials, we can point you in the right direction. We can tell you who to talk to because these are people that have done it and they've done it successfully. But they'll tell you. It started with them. They they brought this in. They made this work in their communities, and they're stronger and more effective in working together. Collaboration is alive and well. And now in El Dorado Springs, Missouri, big thank you, Chad. Thank you for your vision. It started with you, brother, but you did it. You made it happen, and that's what we can do with you. Eight steps to transforming your community. Mike Simon has the workbook there on the step-by-step -step process, how it works, how it can transform your community. Uh, you can get in touch with us at collectivecommunityimpact.com. There's a lot of information there. You've got that training series from Mike, but you've got a wealth of information there from others that have done this. That's collectivecommunityimpact.com. Dot com. We would love to talk with you. Mike at SimonSolutions.com. Joey at SimonSolutions.com. Making the dream a reality. You can do that one step at a time, but it starts with you. From all of us here at Simon Solutions, we're with you every step of the way. I guarantee you if there's ever anything we can do. We're with you. A salute to all of you out there that are making it work and making collaboration a reality. For all of us, take care. Have a great weekend, everybody.